My name is Susan Hudson, I'm Navajo, I'm Kia Ani, and I'm proud to be here, and I'm very, very honored to be here, and you know, to to be a female quilter, that to win Best to Show, it's such an honor, and I do this to honor my grandmothers, um, for actually all of our grandmothers that were sent to the boarding schools, our ancestors that were sent to the boarding school and forced to sew, and so because of them and them being strong and all the struggles they had to go through, that I will never know that. I will never know what they went through, but I wanted to honor them by sewing and doing this and bring it out to the forefront. Yeah, to show that we're still here. No matter what they did to us, we are still here. And I'm here to tell the story. And this is what I do, and this is what comes from my heart. This comes from my dreams, this comes from the great spirit, this comes from my spirit helpers, and mostly my ancestors. All of our, all of those brave, brave women. This right is um, my quilt, Nadabai e Bahanet, means warrior story. And what I was doing is that I'm a contemporary ledger artist. And if you really look at the quilt, like every bit of sees like the wall, but if you break it down and really look at it, that if you were to take this away, they look like pages. They look like pages with all the lines. So this is like our pages of our history, our history from 1492 forward. And I have on, the names are in English because my second mother was Southern Cheyenne, so I have a traditional Cheyenne name. And I also have a Navajo name, but I don't tell people what it is. I tell them the translation in English. And so when the colonization, when they came, they gave us either their English names or Spaniard names or whatever, but they took away, trying to take away our beautiful names. But, you know, we still have them and it's a great thing. So what I did was I have all these names here and it's to represent anybody. Somebody can stand here and it doesn't mean just them, it means everybody. It doesn't matter, race, color, or creed. You know, we are as one, and we, a lot of us have, um, they have fought for our freedom, and the tribulations, and maybe all the things that their ancestors went through. So what I wanted to do right here, is I didn't know what I was doing at first, but I wanted to um, put them, but you see these, they're not soldiers, they're, they're dressed in the traditional clothes. I just happened to pick these colors. You can see where they have the moccasins, where he has his apron, and then right here, the Navajo with his boots. And they all have vests, but that's a lot of times you see them when they're drumming or when they're walking around, they have their vests. Well, what I did right here is that I wanted to do her dress to make it look like it was floral, like it was the, uh, made out of quills. And then the, uh, we believe that the children are so innocent that when they uh, they laugh or they cry, or whatever, it's because they can see the spirits. So that's what I was showing right there, like that little bit of a connection. And then right here, what I wanted to do was over there on Pine Ridge in Red Cloud School, they have a little museum and they have American horses hat. So that's what I did was this hat right there and to, to honor them, to honor my sister and her tribe. That's what I did. And then down here, right here, he's lost his legs. Well, I worked for the Marine Corps, and I used to be the uh, lead travel auditor, and I would send them to the war zone, and they would come back alive, wounded, or human remains. And on the caskets, they would fold the flag. And so that's what I was showing. When he lost his legs, he died because that way of life died. He had to relearn how to live. And so I wanted to show the, the significance between them coming back and they're you know, dying. But then also I'm a child of the 60s. So I put the little peace signs in the wheels because no, one, no mother wants to see her son go to war and to get killed. So we believe in peace and working things out and talking, but that doesn't happen all the time. So that's what I did right there, and they're saluting each other. And then right here, this was the main part. This was where it started. Because a lot of my grandmas over there, they're real tiny. And um, they wanted to go to Washington because they hear about this wall, and they don't know what it is. But I was showing how tiny they are, and I put her on a box with her little cane and connecting and knowing that she's going to be walking on. And, you know, it's like that connection and then, you know, to become at peace 
and knowing that she's going to see her son or her husband, you know, her brother or whoever it might be. And then I had to put Grandma her little bling. Because, you know, Grandma Grandma's dressed up on Saturdays. <laughs> and then over here on this one, I did add to sometimes these warriors, they they see their um, friends or brothers or whatever getting killed next to them. And sometimes it takes a good cry, a good cry. Sometimes they have to work it out for themselves and nobody can do it for them. And then on the very last one over here, I did this to honor my grandfather's the co-talkers. That's why I have the little Marine Corps emblem there. And he's got his little, his little hair, his little bun. But I also did that and I gave him a missing leg because when they go to war, they're young and they're impressionable. But once they hit that and see the horror wars, they leave a little bit of themselves there, whether it's a little bit of their mind, a little bit of their heart, their soul, their spirit, maybe a body part, maybe they never come back. So that's why that there by themselves. So whoever's standing there can relate and it makes them either talk about it Maybe there's a time where they need to get help, maybe they need to cry or something, but that's what that's for. So this is what I did, this is our story. Our, and I mean, it's kind of dark, but there, you know, war is our part of our, our culture, our heritage, and our lives. And then even the sky is dark. But I also won first place at the Herd Museum. And I, over here, I won first place. And the 32nd annual, I got Best of Division, and then the 23rd, I actually got Best of Show. And right now, this is being displayed um, as part of um, the summer in Pagosa Springs at the museum. So this is where that's at. <laughs>